Hello, my people. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, welcome to this video. It's a continuation of the last one where I spoke about what it took me and my, you know, family to get to the UK. So let me just go straight to the point because I, um, the weather is a bit chilly today, and um, I'm just coming back from the mocks anyway. So back then in Nigeria, about um, early last year, my um, myself and my wife we decided that you know I think it was about time we took the plunge after you know a lot of considerations on how our situation was let me just put it that way so to a large extent for me i wasn't really too um, keen i was interested but see i just felt was it time or was it not time or has maybe the time passed anyway so one of the things i now decided to do was that uh, when we started, decided to start the process was to ensure that you had all the um, documentations in place and having all the documentations means that some of the things like um, your transcripts your uh, passports valid passports you, you needed to have um, what else what else you needed to have um, yes your, your school your school details all your transcripts everything you did so that by the time you started the application process you wouldn't have too much um, stress to go through unfortunately for us because at the time we started, ASU was on strike. And if ASU was on strike, we couldn't get the transcripts that um, we needed. I need to cross at the traffic light here. So, couldn't get all the transcripts that we needed. So, one of the things we now did was, one of the things we now had to do was, the majority of the schools that we applied to back then, fortunate, unfortunately for us, we were um, rejected because we did not have that transcript. But fortunately for us, we were able to now still, you know, get an admission at the um, University of Sunderland, which is where my wife is schooling right now. So one of the major things you need to ensure that you have is you have all the documentations. Documentations involve having your school transcript, like I said, having your passports, having enough um, knowledge on how much it will cost you to start the whole process. You could do the whole process yourself. You really don't need to give it to anyone. You really don't need to employ anyone to do the process for you. And um, when you start, there are a lot of agents that could help you do, but process can actually be done all by yourself. You don't really need to give it to anyone. So, hello, hello, hello. Drop Thank, this. You. Uh, Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Uh, so, where was I? Um, you can start the whole process yourself. Doing the process yourself is even actually easier and you would learn a lot. But you ensure that you join groups. There are a lot of groups that um, you could join so that you know you keep yourself abreast of what you need to do, what you need not to do. Ensure you also know how much it will cost you. I'll give the breakdown of how much it will cost by individual the applicants and then the dependents you know those are the terms that are used so depending on the number of um, family you have that would determine how much you need to you know look for and ensure you have in your bank account so that because it's whatever you have in your bank account that you will use to make um, your payments and whether it's a bit cold today but um, and then there's this something that you know, came to me as a shock. There are times the temperature would, you know, just drop so, drop so much that you would not believe that things could get this cold. But the truth is, it's not even cold yet, based on what everyone has told me. They are like, this weather is not cold. This is still warm. Wait till December. Wait till January, wait till February, then you would understand what it means to, you know, be in a bit of cold weather. But um, it's been fun anyway, it's been fun. We've been adapting. And, um, you know, when you, when you first get here, you to look as if, you know, you already have plans laid out. This is what I want to do. These are the things I'm going to achieve. This is, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But you will find out that as soon as you get to the UK, 
majority of those plants of yours could 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 i'm about to cross the road so could be on hold because you do not have what we call necessary documentation and i would um i'll make a separate video about that for you to know what the necessary documentation is because there's a lot of jobs virtually everything you would require to have a minimum you require your national insurance called ni you, you require your brp you would require those at least those two are the minimum and then in, in some instances a dbs check to ensure that you do not have any criminal record or you know of um of all sorts you know so those are the major things so at the end of the day we're able to you know go through the process do application once you get um accepted by the school you need to make deposits it could be 50 percent it could be 20 percent it could be as low as um two thousand pounds depending on the school once you have done that you'll be issued a class then with that class you can now proceed to apply for your uh, visa and applying for your visa you also pay for your ihs once you've made your payment for your ihs uh, once you made your payment for your IHS, then you can now go ahead and um, do your go for your um, biometrics, where you would you know be captured and your document, your um, information, pictures, fingers will be captured. Once you do that, as soon as you're through with that, give it within you know, depending on the package you have chosen, a week to probably six to eight weeks then your visas should come out. And once you have your visas, obviously the next step is to book a flight and travel. But you need to ensure that you understand when the school you know, date is. If the resumption date is in June, ensure that you start way ahead of June. If it's in September, start way ahead. If it's in January, start way ahead. So that's basically the steps you need to you know, undertake. I also, make some videos that would describe what my experience has been like it's been fun it's been um, like it's more or less it's a new chapter it's not like, it's not more or less it is a new chapter so um getting here was uh, was fun anyway it was fun it's been really 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 an eye opener do, do you know that the whole place is more or less planned everything from how you live where you stay the road network, the system. See, this pavement, this pavement you're walking on is citywide, more or less, countrywide, and it's very, very important to them because you have this pavement that buses, you know, can park very close to it. People, if you're in a wheelchair, you can still go into that bus. If you're an elderly person, the bus would park and you know align with the pavement so it doesn't it's not difficult for you to you know get onto the bus and you know the culture is such um it's a great one it's a good one so that's basically um the summary for this video i'm about to go in now so i would um see you in the next video i would appreciate if you have any questions if you have any inquiries if you have if you want to know anything extra about how I was able to, you know, complete this whole process, you could send me an email. Just contact me. Look in the um, description below. You see my contact details. Let's talk. Let's um, guide and, um, you know, give ourselves a bit of, um, you know, um, instructions on how to go about it. All right. Take good care. We'll talk later. Bye.